Hey everybody, it's about 1.58, almost 2 o'clock on this Tuesday afternoon, the 20th of March, first day of spring. That's right, finally into spring. Kind of shows you how this fast this year is actually going, seeing as though we're already in spring. But, anyway, I thought I'd ask you a question, and I think you can see the title up there is correct. I'm going to ask you guys a question. The question I want to ask you guys is essentially, essentially, do you think, in all honesty folks, do you think in all honesty, and I, again you can see the question up there, do you think it's a smart move by Marvel or do you think Marvel's making the right decision to have what I consider the Avenger Marathon, if you will, leading up to the Avengers in May? In case you don't know, um, it's been announced that Marvel Comics, along with all the movie companies that have, co that have distributed mo the movies of Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Hulk, Thor, and Captain America. My question to you is, do you think it's a good idea to have a whole day worth at select at the AMC theaters, the closest being to me, Los Angeles and San Francisco? But do you think in all honesty that it's the best that it's the right decision to do what they're gonna do? See, in case you don't know, in case you don't know, Marvel is going to have Paramount is going to base Marvel is basically going to for one whole day leading up to the midnight showing for one whole day, movie after movie after movie after movie after movie show the event show all the movies building up to the Avengers. In other words, they're going to be showing movies like say Iron Man. That's right, Iron Man, which came out, I think, 2007. Hulk, which came out in 2008. Iron Man 2, which is about 2009. Nine, I believe, maybe sooner, I'm not really sure. Yeah, 2009. And then around 2010, 2011 with Thor and Captain America, Captain America and Thor, or Thor and Captain America, whichever one came first. Well, actually, it was Thor that came first and Captain America. Yeah, because Captain America came out last year, Thor came out before that. I think around the same time. But do you think, in all honesty, it's a good decision by Marvel to have this marathon in these AMC theaters and other selected theaters? When they know, when they, Marvel, of all people know, that just about any fan of these characters, of this whole series of movies leading up to the Avengers, do you think it's a smart move? I know I'm sounding like a broken record here, I'm apologizing. I apologize for that, but do you think it's a smart move to do this, knowing that people own the movies, possibly on DVD and Blu-ray? I mean, think about it. If you have the movie on DVD and Blu-ray already, what's the point of spending, I don't know how much, about $10, maybe $8, $7 a pop, or $40, as they say, altogether, just to go, s just to see all these movies in a row, and then see, just so you can see the Avenger Midnight Showing. Do you think it's a smart move? I mean, myself, I really don't have no problem with it. You know, you know, if I had the money, if I had a lot of money, in all honesty, if I had a lot of money, I, even though if I have the movies, which I do, if I have all the movies leading up to the Avengers, which I do, if I had all the money, if I had a lot of money, I would buy the tickets 
go to the closest AMC theater or whatever theater is doing it that's close to me, and yeah, I would probably spend my time sitting down and watching a movie. But the thing is, you got to have breaks, right? So it's all going to depend on how, what time they start this. They start with the first movie, when they have a break, and then they start again. You see, I could probably understand and probably go with the fact that let's say you have Iron Man 2, which is a little, which is about two hours, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I can understand if you start that movie about let's say nine o'clock in the morning. I can understand if you start that at nine o'clock in the morning, and it ends around eleven, or maybe before a little before that. You give people a break for about an hour or so, then you show Hulk, which is another hour, two hour, about another on average two hour movie. Okay, let's say you do that at noon. All right, that ends about two, or at least around two o'clock. Give them another break. Then about two thirty three. Bring in the next Iron Man movie. Same thing. It's about 3 o'clock, about 5. Okay, that one's over. Give them a little bit of a break. Come 7, you know, give them a little bit of a break. It ends around just before 7, maybe around 7. Give them a little bit of a break. Bring them back in for around 7.30 or 8. You know, do Thor, and then after Thor, do Cap to give them a little bit of a break after that, and then hit them with Captain America, which will eventually lead them into the Avengers. So, depending on when they would start, eight or nine o'clock in the morning, which I think is a more sensible time because you got to give your customers, your consumers, your moviegoers a break to go out and probably get something to eat, maybe go out and you know do what they have to do use the bathroom of course, get a snack or whatever. <laughs> but the thing is folks, do you, but the thing is, despite all that, and you have to agree, the starting between 8, 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. in the morning is probably the best time to do it. That's time to do it. Do you think, in all honesty, do you think, in all honesty, that it's going to work? Do you think it will be a success for Marvel to go in this direction? Do you think it will be a success? Who knows? Who knows if it's going to be a success? But the question is, is it a mistake? I mean, like I mentioned, if you have the DVDs, you have the Blu-rays. If you have the DVDs, you have the Blu-rays. Do you think, in all honesty, it's the best decision to do? I mean, because seriously, what you could do, because here's, here's the thing, seriously. Again, I have nothing against it. I, you know, like I said, if I had the money, I'd probably do it. But here's the thing. If you have the movies, and yet you still want to go to the midnight showing, you're probably saying to yourself, well, the, that, you're probably thinking like me, oh, well, it's a good idea. It's a great idea to try to, you know, do a movie version or do a marathon leading up to the, uh, you know, leading up to... The, the the midnight premiere, the midnight showing of the Avengers. You probably say to yourself, that's a great idea. And you're probably right. I mean, like I said, I have no problem with it either way. I have no problem with it either way. I really don't. I, I really don't have no problem either way. I, I, I don't. But the question is, if you have...
if Marvel knows people own the movies on DVD and Blu-ray, don't they think, uh, don't they think people are going to probably want to do their own little marathons at home? Especially, let's say, if they have the movie. I mean, think about it. <coughs> There's a lot of people nowadays that own 3D and HD TVs. It's common. So don't they think people might do their own little marathon at home? Maybe not just in one day, but do it in like a week. Maybe do it throughout the week, like one movie a night leading up to the Avengers. Maybe two movies a night. Like say... Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 1 and the Incredible Hulk one night and then let's say Iron Man and Thor the next and maybe Captain America don't they think people won't do that because they probably will but the thing to me but the question I pose to you is do you think it's a good idea I mean are you willing if you have the money to shell out forty something dollars maybe more so let's say on average maybe eighty to a hundred dollars what for one day for movies stuff to eat and <coughs> whatever are you willing to do that you see that 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 is a question I, I would love I, I would love to see get answered because I think you know there's a lot of people out there that want to want that an that are probably considering doing it even though they may own the movies. But again, do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a good idea? And I'm sorry if I'm distracted here. I'm trying to watch my dog. She likes to dig lately, like she's doing right now. Like she's doing right now, but. Um, Do you think it's a it's a good idea? Do you think it's a, an idea that will either be a success or a failure for Marvel? Do you think they're going to fail with this little experiment? I mean, it'd be like let's say Sega deciding, oh, let's um, let's do a marathon worth let's do a marathon worth of it's like not Sega, but it's like Dick Entertainment saying, oh, let's do a marathon worth of the entire second season. I'm not the entire second season, but yeah, basically the entire second season. Let's do a marathon worth of it. A marathon worth of it and see where we go from there. And build up to, like, say, the finale. On television, yeah, that makes sense because, you know, you could go to the kitchen, you could do whatever. You know, you could do whatever. Fine. And, and, that's, and that's great. But will it work with theaters? Because I don't remember any studio ever doing this with their series of movies, with the movie franchises. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember anybody doing it for I don't remember what was it. I don't remember Universal, Universal or MGM or whoever did the Indiana Jones movies, doing it for Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I don't remember them doing that for Star Wars. You know, I don't remember anybody doing that. I don't seriously remember anybody doing that, so, you know, that that's the thing. I don't remember anybody seriously doing that. So the thing is, will Marvel, being the first ones to do it, will it succeed for them, or will it be a failure? Will it succeed for them or will it be a failure? That That is the question I want to know.
You know, I, I want to know that question. I, I seriously want to know if it's going to be a failure or if it's going to be a success. I want to know. But it's not just me that's wondering it. I'm pretty sure a lot of you watching this video are wondering. I'm pretty sure a lot of the movie studios out there are wondering it. They too want to know if Marvel's marathon leading up to the midnight showing of Avengers is going to be a success or if it's going to be a failure. Because if it's a failure, it it's gonna blow up in the face. Like you know, they won't blow up their face, and it'll send a bad bad message to um, all the other movie studios out there. It'll send send a bad message to all the other movie studios out there that doing a marathon worth of movies leading up to let's say one of your movies is not going to be a good idea. I mean, like I said, I've never seen it done before with anybody else. I've never seen Warner Brothers do it for the National Lampoon movies. You know, where they went Christmas, European, no, European, but they went the original vacation, European, then Christmas, and then, say, Vegas. You know, they never did that for them. So, the thing is, will this be a success or will it blow up? We don't know. We have no idea. We have no idea. You see, that that's the thing. But it's a question I'm posing to you guys. It's a question I want to pose and ask. Because, again, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's wondering that. I'm pretty sure a lot of you who are movie buffs, you know, who are, you know, not just movie buffs, but are Marvel fans, you're wondering the same thing. You're wondering if it'll be a success or it'll be a failure. In all honesty, I'm guessing it's, it'll probably be a modern success. Because, you know, maybe a lot of people have not yet seen, you know, these movies on in, on the big screen with me. And they've only seen them on, through DVD and Blu-ray. So maybe it will be a success. We don't know. We don't know. So, you know, that, 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 that to me is the ultimate question. Will it succeed? Will it succeed or will it fail? Will it fail? That, that, that's the thing. Will it succeed or will it fail? No, no one knows. So, but I pose that question to you guys. Do you think it'll be a success or do you think it'll bomb? I mean, the Avengers, I'm no doubt to me, the way they're hyping that sucker up and the way it looks is going to be a hit. A big blockbuster. They're going to be the blockbuster of the summer. Or one of them anyway. But do you think, with the marathon leading up to it, that the marathon will either kill it, be a success, or financial failure? Because like I said, if you have people that own the DVDs and the Blu-rays and probably opt for the fact that like and probably opt with the fact that, you know what, we could just do our own marathon at home and then go see the midnight show of Avengers. Do you think they don't, do you think they don't realize that could save them money and all that? But they probably do, but here's the thing, will they do it, or will they decide, you know what, I may own our, both Iron Man movies, I may own Thor and Captain America and Hulk, but I've never seen them on the big screen. It's time to go see them on the big screen. Do you think they won't want to do that? I'm pretty sure they will. I'm pretty sure they will. 
But again, I pose that question to you. Do you think it's a wise decision? I think it's a wise decision to do that. To do this marathon. And that's all I'm going to ask. Give me your comments and video responses below. Like this video, like this channel, and I'll talk to you all later.